Hey guys, what's up? I'm Corey, and today I'm back with another video. So, yeah, I'm in a different spot. This is... So, that's where I usually film down there. Like, just right down there. Although, I have my desk. Oh my gosh. This nearly fell. This Lego robot. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to build... A Lego boat that actually floats. Mm -hmm. So, first, you're going to need all the pieces. So, you are going to need so these, and these are, these can be in whatever colour you want. So, one, no. So, oh gosh, I dropped one. So, six of those. Yeah, six. I was just counting to make sure. Two of these. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six studs on the top there. Now, one plate like this. Yeah, which has six of these going like, six studs going like down there and down there. And then one of these pieces for like a car, which has four of the studs up there. It doesn't matter if you have one of these, well, if you don't have one of these, well, that's going to be bad because I think this is what actually makes it float. Now you're going to need two of these. So they're, they're basically the exact same size as these, so there's six of those. And then two of these, in, it doesn't matter what colour, I just chose red and grey and white. And these have eight. And then you're going to want to have one of these, a four stud, one of those, yeah. And then one of these is just like a see-through, so like that basically, and I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see, and then at the bottom that's where you plug it in. I have two of these, I'm going to use the blue because blue is my favourite. One of these pieces, and then a piece of paper that you just cut into a triangle like that for a flag. So first what you're going to want to do to make it is going to be upside down so the studs are going to be on the bottom so if you do if you guys don't like doing Lego like that well mm. so you're going to put them together like that if you heard that noise that was just um, my dad talking so you want to gonna get them like that and then with these, so on here, on the bottom, you're going to want them to line up that, like with that. that this is the eight one, by the way. The six one is way smaller. And then you're going to want to stick it. Oh, wait. No, you're not going to want to do it on that side. You're going to want to <coughs> go in like that. And then just plug that on so it lines up. Make sure you give it a nice squeeze. And it will be going over like that so that it will line up. Now do the exact same on the other side because you want it to be all nice and secure. <coughs> now with the six ones, you're going to want to plug them on like that. So literally get it and plug it on like that. And I don't know if you guys can see it's wet because it's a boat I tried it out in the water when I actually made this. And I took it apart before this video because it's very easy to make. And then I just made this video. <coughs> so now that we've got it in that <coughs> place, with these... 
with those white ones, you want to stack them up on each other. So just stack. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, you can pause the video if you want to step my mom. So now that I've got it like that, yeah, the reason why I was looking out there is because the window's right there and I just saw something out there, probably food. So now you're going to want to get oh, that's upside down. These <coughs> and put them on the side. So because it's going to be upside down, you have to just plug it on like that. Or I can just do it like that and then you plug it on, turn it upside down. <clears throat> and then do the exact same thing on the other side. So now, you want to get that piece. And obviously, you're going to want to put it right here. <clears throat> so you go like that. Oh, that's just writing right, right here on the, the piece that this came on. So now you do, oh my god I can't talk. So now that you've got that like that, <coughs> you should have a big like H like that. Now with the pieces that you stacked like that, you're gonna want to get it like that, and you see that piece right there, that like hole. You're going to want to put the this stud in where that is because it's a stud it literally just fits in like that so now i'm going to get that and the piece of paper and you're going to want to put this over so with that piece like that you want to get the paper and put it over this is very awkward for me Then hold it in place with your fingers and then with this piece plug it on it might be a bit hard at first because obviously the paper but after a couple tries you can get it to look like that Although if it's a bit wonky, it doesn't really matter because then you can take it off and then straighten it. Although I just turned it. So like that. And if you guys want, because it's straight right now, you can get your finger and then wrap it around. So then it bends and then do the same. So then you give it like this wobbly shape you don't have to do that or you although you you guys can do that if you want to make it look like that okay and i just wondered guys well i just noticed i've done it the wrong way because you have to do it upside down i done it the wrong way so i'm going to take this off and then basically do it upside down Sorry guys, don't listen to that step. <coughs> so with a quick repair, I have made it so that you can plug it on like that. And there you go. There's your little, wait, Sorry guys, I just needed to turn it. There is your little boat, and surprisingly, it can float. Literally, just fill like a bowl or something with water because this thing is quite small. It's literally about like the size of my palm. So, Fill something up with water, probably a bowl or like a sink, and then put it in and see if it floats. If it doesn't, 
watch this video again and then if it doesn't then keep like <coughs> building it and building it again like keep on watching this video and then keep on building it again until it actually floats because this thing is made to float well yeah because I designed it I didn't even know if it was gonna float anyway I just built it because I was looking up boats and then I just put it on the water and then it f and then it was floating which I was quite surprised because it's Lego so there you go the little boat hope you guys like subscribe and share the video and if I get um, 28 subscribers which I'm aiming for I will make a part two of this but where I actually make a different type of boat and also on the flag right here you can colour it in or put whatever you want on it so hope you guys like this video and see you soon bye guys